Hello fellow Lord Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to part 2 on my how to win on legendary guide campaign with Techless <clears throat> where we previously we kind of fixed the situation up here in the province we will soon get another slot in order to construct the, uh, the garrison and right now, uh, last turn, I recolonized that stuff over here, the blood swamps now there's too many ways to go with this. Uh, you could have signed the uh, actual peace treaty as soon as you captured the blood swamps with uh, Clan Fester. They actually asked us for one, but I, I did not accept. Which actually was a bad thing because if you just sign a peace treaty, then they will become a problem of either the Blessed Dread or Techenhauen. So if you get a peace treaty option, just sign it. If not, it's all good. There's also a third option to actually not go and recolonize the blood swamps, just go straight for the awakening and strike it when it's empty, not when Luthor is inside it or anywhere near it. Uh, but right now uh, I went with uh, just recolonizing the blood swamps and I will probably have to fight this clan rat army, which is not a big of a deal. Uh, you just need to replenish just a tiny bit uh, beyond half strength, that's all that's needed. And uh, Our Lady is just gonna have to make... Uh, oh shit, uh, the other save didn't happen. I forgot to give her the order to come back in this distance, which is, uh, which is fine. Uh, probably you just want to disband her, because uh, she's just... See, is she even worth it? Like, if you recruit a new uh, sorcerer, she's gonna be, or he is gonna be at least level 5, because of Teclis' uh, bonus that he has as a faction so I don't know you might want to keep her you might not want to either way it's fine I think I'm just gonna disband her because she has done her work she's got me she hooked me up with trading with pretty much almost every faction that I need to be also the turns have passed so soon the uh, the event that unlocks every port city uh, on the map is gonna happen so yeah she's not worth to me on uh, free roaming anymore I got the tradings that I wanted, I'm all good, and uh, yeah, what's Loven doing here? It's probably, yeah, trying to go after Reverse, which is proving a difficult situation, but they will overcome that. And this is the reason I mostly avoid playing Mortal Empires, that end turn mechanic is, uh, end turn mechanic is quite, quite uh, time consuming. Alright, so I'm just gonna dismount here. And uh, let's see over here, do we have the money? No, we don't. And these guys didn't attack because even at half strength that clan rat army is no match for us. Alright, over here we're gonna go for secure influence because eventually we're gonna make him uh, to be about that. Alright, we're gonna hunt that army down because we need the money. And we cannot resolve it, as you can see, it's an easy one. We're gonna take the, uh, the money, can we? Oh, it's destroyed. Alright, cool. And now, we don't want to suffer. We're gonna upgrade that to level 2 so we can AoE cast it. We're gonna get back into the blood swamps to replenish. And we can now rebuild this one and also build the walls up here. Cancel this one. And go for that because it's more important in case any rebellion happens here. Which is not, but for the time being we should just upgrade it just to be safe in case the blessed dread attacks if they try to attack uh, when this thing builds up it's gonna be impossible for them to take it so we just wait a couple of turns here to replenish also if we're lucky enough we're gonna have enough money to uh, repair it Alariel what does he want to do non-aggression pact I have an idea since we have good relations and you should always know that if you have good relations with factions around you you can always ask for small gifts, like 300 worth of coins. So as soon as the enter mechanic ends, <coughs> finishes, we're gonna just ask all the guys around us uh, to just give us a little bit of money. And also just keep on trying to get uh, trade agreements as well. Um, Alright, how do you go after the awakening? There's two options, either go via the land, uh, straight straight for that and suffer the, the attrition, you can either uh, kick off the uh, the right that uh, negates attrition but it's too expensive I don't suggest you do that I suggest you just go with and come stance slowly towards the awakening 
so you can see if any hero is around you can get your noble out of the army because he's not gonna be needed uh, at this time you know the replenishment is quite good to send him forward uh, in order to see what's going on and uh, from there on it should be good so you're probably gonna get a different result uh, after you uh, cross that rebellion here but it doesn't matter if you're just in war with clan fester or you saw that they're just gonna be running with a city army nothing fearsome so you should be good all right now let's see which guys love us most you see they gave us a small gift these guys didn't uh, cult of Sodak might actually accept Right, they did. How about Estalia? We need, we still. Okay, they want military access, so that means a trade agreement is gonna happen for sure. And how about a small gift? No, okay. Uh, Bordelo, let's just keep begging them to trade with us. They want. How about Bretonia? Come on, Bretonia. All right, whatever. How about Carcassonne? These guys. Okay, not yet. The Empire. Didn't I trade last time with them? Yes. Uh, probably the other say didn't happen, but now, oh shit! I should have gone non-aggression pact and trade agreement together. They uh, always accept that. It's fine. Like, they will uh, uh, accept to trade with me next time because the non-aggression pact always, uh, you know, helps uh, this kind of thing. So we made money out of a sudden, uh, good decent money. Now we're gonna get Teclis over. What's the fastest way from here? So he's gonna go there and camp full strength as it seems we're gonna get the noble to keep going Luthor is over there with a city army he's struggling against the uh, Pox Mars up here another research is available we're gonna go for this one just to upgrade the eagle ball thrower and uh, we should be good we should be good <coughs> baby steps just don't declare war on anybody except the clan fester and you're gonna get around the same results as I said even if it doesn't happen the same, it's still gonna be close. You just have to keep the same goals. Like, fix the public order on your main province, don't care about the swamps. By swamps I mean this province down here, region. Uh, yeah, fix the public order by just crossing a couple of rebellions, pretty much what we did. Make enough money from these rebellions, so you can get the buildings done. Use the growth, edict. Uh, commandment in order to get to level 3 so you can get a wall and if you get a wall without a red building in there a military building any rebellion that's gonna be happening it's gonna get crushed it's just it's just how it works okay and uh, yeah after that you go after the vampire coast when it's empty you need to capture the awakening like uh, right about now I think we're gonna attack right now because uh, I don't think we're gonna suffer a lot of losses because we have the missile advantage we're just gonna be shooting these guys fairly easily unhappy with place that's bad but it should be alright this thing is still repairing we can go for this one as well and uh, now let me see can we reach it if you can't reach it it's gonna be bad but I think we can alright let's declare the war and let's go Holy shit, you can't. Okay, in case that happens, just take in mind that the autosave doesn't happen immediately, so you can do that. You can go out, just reload the save. Why is it lagging? Alright, yeah. So, yeah, the declare war option does not cause an autosave to happen. It, only battles do that. So even if you, if you declare war and uh, you kind of fail to attack the city, pretty much what, uh, what happened to me, just be, uh, don't worry. Just go back, reload, and it sh uh, should all be good. You see, no harm done. So what we need to do is just go even further close, right about here, use the encamp, so we get that extra little bit of replenishment and um, let me see we can actually secure influence over here but that's gonna cost me some money I don't wanna do that I prefer to build this one up so yeah uh, now did the uh, 
trading happen. Okay, this guy still don't want to trade. Did I get the gifts this... Uh, well, yeah, it was the previous one, okay. So, uh, yeah, these guys are just gonna take some time to trade with you. And as I said, as soon as you get at least one resource, it's gonna make things easier. Because it will actually be worth it to trade with you. Right now you you get nothing. <laughs> you, you only have elven trinket, uh, trinkets or something like that. Alright, now you will say to me, what if you capture the awakening and you like get destroyed, even if you win it, you have great losses and these guys come back and uh, you know, crush you. Well, make sure that doesn't happen, make sure you minimize the losses and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to uh, grab the awakening with the least losses. Alright, it's gonna be a level 3 garrison in there, depth guard, bloated corpses, mongols, all of the good stuff. We're gonna get that noble back into that because he's gonna be needed into the battle. The sword masters of Hoeth are uh, silver rank at the moment, which is great. And by capturing that settlement, uh, it's gonna solve our uh, money problem. So, uh, let's get on straight inside and you will see how to take this city. All right, uh, we could gamble, it's not a big deal. All right, cool. Um, we're gonna hide everybody here for the time being. You as well, and you. We're just gonna keep uh, these guys out in the open. You can, you can hide as well. The ball thrower over here on single shot, just place it like this and just leave these guys over here. And uh, let's see who is gonna... Okay, actually the eagle stay back. You don't have to get shot. And we'll begin actually come a little bit towards here. We don't have to get shot by the other tower as well. Just start shooting the... Come on, what the hell? This one. Alright, they seem to be going after the noble. You can dodge. You can't if you... What the... What's going on? Alright. Now this is gonna take a lot of time, an eagle bolt thrower just single shooting uh, a tower is not gonna be uh, a quick thing. So just put it on fast forward if you want, you can dodge with a noble if you don't want to, you can just leave him be, like it doesn't matter, he's not gonna be participating that much into the battle. Or I guess, you know, just as I said minimize the losses, you can just keep on strafing, it's not a big deal. Just always make sure you keep the eagle ball thrower back and one hero in the front so the tower is gonna be prioritizing this one. If you do it the other way around it's not gonna work and your eagle ball thrower is gonna get destroyed because it's taking a lot of time to destroy that tower. But remember we only need one tower destroyed because we're gonna bring our archers from this place avoiding that tower and we'll slowly start taking apart their forces. First it needs to be the bombers and the uh, handguns. <coughs> We don't care about uh, the melee units so far, just yet. We care about the ranged. Alright, why can I not... Alright, there's definitely something bugged in this game lately. Alright, cool. So that tower is dead. Um, you can use the remaining shots to, I don't know, shoot over there. Let's just try to get this guy here. Right now we're just gonna need the archers to come over to this place. 
we're gonna get a few hits by that tower it's it's fine like uh, like two or three guys are gonna die it's not gonna be uh, an issue all right so uh, where's that thing can it shoot yeah just all right go with that actually let's see are they gonna make it happen just come here all right We're a little bit obstructed, probably because of that remaining thing over here. We might have destroyed the tower, but yeah, that, that's still in the way. I guess we can try to uh, shoot up here. If you can do it, it's fine. If not, it's also fine. Alright, and uh, we'll just take these two first archers. We'll turn them like this. We need to get these bombers away from there. So, uh, oh shit. Don't fire at will. Uh, you went after the right target, but don't fire at will. And as you can see, these bombers are melting. <laughs> what we want to do, the city is always going to be the same. So just make sure you take out any hero, uh, not hero, any uh, ranged unit that's going to be on this side. Uh, now it's a little bit hard, so we might have to stop and just come over here in order to get them. Or even get a couple of units let me just get this right just come here actually here all right cool all right can you now hmm they're shooting the tower so just leave it just bring a couple more guys over here and just shoot them from this place all right they're now crumbling how much hp left all right just hit them another time and there you go so now, since nobody is here, you can bring these guys from this place. And that's exactly what you're gonna do. Don't worry about melee units being up here. Alright, you can uh, shoot the bombers over there. And you can also shoot the handguns from over here. Alright. Always make sure you get the ranged out first. Alright, these guys are missing hard, so just sit tight. These guys are doing a much better job. <clears throat> and actually come here because these guys will run out soon so we'll need to uh, just swap the shots all right why did you why did you stop just keep me keep making that happen all right they're crumbling so uh, just let them be go for the uh, bombers now all right cool excellent all right these guys are coming really really close so let's bring these guys here I don't want them to go up on the walls so we're gonna start shooting them immediately and actually we're gonna be getting some friendly shots in there on the uh, crabs as well All right stop shooting and let's see where they're gonna they're gonna go up here of course because they always keep uh, the battlements above the gate uh, highly dense so uh, we're just gonna go after these ones now up here on the walls you can go back there i'm not gonna need you anymore and you can start getting ready to come over here and another set should come over here all right and these guys as you can see are crumbling at the moment you get over there too you champs come over here all right they melted they crumbled all right what other ranged unit remains obviously the gunnery gunnery oh it's handguns i thought it was a gunnery white okay so by shooting these guys we're actually oh luthor is here okay you know what come over here come over here start doing this one the good thing about undead is that they will never run away <laughs> uh when they get shot okay we're missing why are we missing we're shooting the tree or something I think we're shooting the tree okay um hmm. oh, no 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 keep shooting keep shooting oh shit what happened why are you not getting the shots in just get over there and shoot there you go okay um let's wait to get rid of these guys what's going on back here we can bring bring the eagle from this place so we go and take care of the cannon 
I should have actually taken care of that earlier because it, ca it could have easily moved up here and just started uh, bothering me. Obviously it didn't, so it's alright. Let's get you up there. You now deploy over here. And... Alright, I think I know what's happening. You need to come here so you can shoot the rest. Um, not even that is possible. Okay, so... Um, I don't know. Can you shoot like this? Alright, you have to be back here. Only. Not even that. Alright, uh, that tree is protecting Luthor, <laughs> believe it or not, he's hiding behind the tree. Alright, you need to come a little bit more towards here, because that thing is blocking your view, like this. And come on, alright, now they can shoot, excellent. And they're actually shooting the guys back here, which is great. No, 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 keep shooting. Yeah, they failed again, they failed again. Alright, don't worry about that, let's bring the other two. And now, how do we care? How do we take care of Luthor? For duty. Mm, let me see if I place you over there. Will you be able to shoot these guys? We just need them to crumble. All right. You see the remaining guys are all here, it's only just one model staying up here and it's actually keeping the flag over on this side, which makes things uh, a lot tougher. Alright, you can stop shooting, these guys will crumble, there's only like 8 guys remaining and uh, let's just keep an eye out on that thing. This way we get probably both of the bloated corpses out. Should we try to get the crabs? Nah, I don't think we should, like just go for the crew. It's fine, like, bloated corpses don't do any damage to single entities, as you will notice over here. And now you can go up in the air. Actually, just do that. Alright, cool. And now go up in the air. Alright. <clears throat> and, where's Luthor? Okay, we managed to get Luthor to move, but uh, I wasn't planning on bringing him back here. It's alright, it's alright. So, which unit do we take care of? Alright, you all stay here and we'll start working on the depth guard. Not the pole arms, because the sword masters can't beat them down like crazy. I'm just gonna go for uh, the hand axes one. Alright, cool. These guys will crumble, let them be. Excellent. It's always good to always refresh the shots, just hit stop shoot and stop because they are more accurate this way for some reason uh, how about here do are we gonna get good damage we are all right just keep doing that and believe me or not if you just shoot once and you stop they become more accurate for some reason so if you want to do that please do all right so we've taken care of that let's fall back so we can start working on this one too all right cool another one Cool. And another one. And perfect. Alright, one last. And that should be it. Alright, uh, do we want to shoot these guys now? Let's try. One shot. How much damage? Mm, yeah, they have physical resistance, so it's not so much. But it's better than shooting crabs. Alright. Just one shot from you. Oh, it wasn't needed after all. Can we hit here? Uh, no. We can go from here since nobody's up on the walls. We killed every, pretty much every single one of their infantry. <coughs> so they just don't have uh, anything to mount the towers to keep them uh, shooting. Alright. One, two, three... Four. Excellent. And we still have a few shots left. Alright, you can go up there. Actually, you. Alright. Um, what is that? Mongols. Okay. The walls belong to us, so we can move the spears up without having to uh, fight them. So we'll do it. Let's bring these guys over here. And actually, 
What am I doing? Let's wait, let's wait. Alright. These archers should get up. Go up. Nobody can come up on the walls except Luthor and I don't think he will. Because we're gonna aim for these Mongols. If we take these guys out it should be uh, an easy job. One. Are they all up? Almost. Just a little bit more. A few leftovers are climbing and that should be it. Alright, shoot it. Yeah, they're not shooting in great numbers, but at least they are. And these Mongols are... yeah. Oh, and look at that. This guy's just crumbled. That means if we just get close enough to them, they will crumble as well. Alright, just wait here. Uh, you go down. Open up the gates. Alright, cool. Let's get the eagle close to them. Oh, because they are... Okay, you see? This guy's crumbled as well. I'm pretty sure we just touched Luthor. And... Uh, it's not Luthor, it's Tiny, Tim, whatever. But... Uh, Alright, a close victory. Are you kidding me? A close victory? Like, uh, f seriously. Can you see that? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Oh, whatever, I'm not gonna bother. Alright, this is how you need to play to uh, win against the Vapakos. Just make sure you get one tower out and then just position yourselves, um, position your archers into a good spot so you can, uh, you know, do the trick. Make sure you take out the ranged first. Anything that doesn't have too much armor, because you don't. Alright, and now, for the first time, I reckon that we can actually loot the city. Because the... Just look at the... Um, we're gonna repair this one. And... Uh, ooh. There's gonna be a really strong rebellion here, but good thing that we have a full stack. Alright, we're gonna go for the speed of Assyrian. Um, what are we gonna need here? It's level 2. It's kinda sucks. We're gonna need the public order, that's for sure. Uh, we don't need any troops at the moment. We have everything that we want, so we're gonna get rid of... Hmm, we could get a couple of cavalry units. You know what? We're gonna get the... Uh, where's the Illyrian rivers? Yeah, here. Heralds of the Wind. And we kind of have the eagle for, you know, sort of cavalry. So uh, just let him be. All right, let's get rid of it. And let's see if Luthor Harkon is going to come after us. And if he does with two bloated corpses, I don't think it's going to be uh, good for him. All right, we're going to go for this one, for the public order to fix, because it's already starting to go south again. But now we have walls and the great garrison. Oh my dear lord, every single unit is ranged <laughs> almost. All right, like um, I'm pretty sure from here on you can take it yourselves. If you capture the awakening, it's just GG already. You can set up a really powerful base over here. And uh, was that Luthor? Yeah. All right, we'll have to fight him outside of the walls. It's it's not a big deal. If he tries to come inside. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier, like vampire cost just marching up against walls, <laughs> yeah, not good for them, but even if we go outside it's still gonna be okay. Alright, and these guys, <laughs> just for taking out Luthor, uh, his uh, homeland is actually itching to strike a non-aggression pact with us. Alright, uh, da -da 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 -da. we can go for happy populace again. And now we have achieved the chapter objective, 
which is raising, sucking, looting three settlements. Now we, uh, the next one is for six. So we can go and build that port and trust me that from here on the economy is gonna start to change. These battles over here are gonna make us rich. Okay, we're gonna get that portion of Teroy because it's our only defense if something goes wrong with Luthor, with uh, Teclis I mean. And what do we have over here? Ooh, we have a lot of ranged. We have a couple of uh, scurvy dogs. Mm -hmm. The bloated corpses shall be easy to deal with. And they're actually gonna make things easier for us. Alright, let's get inside. Alright, uh, that's good enough magic, start the deployment, let's go on the high ground and away from the forest because we hate forests, 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 I got it, and let's go like that and that, alright, you go on guard mode, you will stay over here, um, actually, yeah, like uh, this, front line, we're gonna keep these guys on the flanks, uh, for the scary dogs mostly. You guys can be uh, here, actually. Okay, you know what? Just go straight in the back. Let's go with double layers. Uh, can we go blocky formation? Mm, let's not try it. I'm pretty sure Luthor is gonna have a great spell or something. All right, so uh, let's go like this. Noble, Teclis, Eagle, and Swordmasters. Alright, that seems like a good plan. Alright, let's get the eagle to go and play with them. Where's the bloated corpse? Over here. Okay, good. Alright, as soon as that thing starts to shoot, it should be uh, with single shot. Alright, we're gonna drop on... Hmm. Let's be careful. Alright, let's go for that and let's hope that the, uh, the bloated corpse is gonna come for us. Come on, bloated corpse. Come on, bloated corpse. Alright, go over here. Just stop them from shooting. Where's the bloated corpse? Come on, come over. Bloated corpse. It was right over there, wasn't it? Shit, alright. My strategy didn't work. Let's get the hell out of here now. <laughs> get out, get out, eagle. Just get over here, fast. Alright, cool. Alright, I now threw away uh, my chance at stopping these hounds. Alright, the other bloated corpse is from this side, so I guess he's taking us on a horse now. Did I get him on one? No. Alright, come over here. Alright, cool. We might have to go for this one as soon as they get close because we want to make sure we get rid of those first. So you four shoot at that and you four shoot at this one. You deal with that, bring the eagle back and that bloated corpse. Uh, we have to send the noble. We have to send the noble. Alright, cool. This guy's got monster smashed. Let's just with everybody aim for these ones right now. Everybody, just target that thing down. You two will go after this one, actually go for that. Alright, cool. And the noble is already on it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, go for this one. You go for that, and you two... Stay. Alright, eagle. Ooh, the bloated corpse. Shit, man. Alright, now it exploded. Oh my dear lord, I didn't see these guys coming from here. Alright, sword masters, you can go in the front, you can pull over here, you can fall back right over here. And archers, all except you two. Where's Teclis? Just keep it in place. Oh shit, I, I targeted the wrong unit. Oh my dear lord, I failed hard. I failed really hard. 
Alright, Sword Masters come back. Just deal with the hounds. And that's right, just get them out. Alright, Noble, you can come back too. How the hell did I fail so hard? I should have gone for an overcasted net. Now I'm getting shot for no goddamn reason. Alright, keep going here, keep going here, keep going here, and you keep going here. And... Techless, you should be good. Let's bring the sword masters from this place, and the eagle can go to here together with the noble. And let's just cast an enfeebling fall on them. No, oh, these guys are still here. Come on. Can you two actually? Ah, it's okay. The noble is over there. All right, you have to get here. You keep on attacking this one. So are we taking care of the ranged? Because these are the ones that are causing all of the problems. I think we are. All right, can you shoot Luthor? All right, cool. So now the archers. Let's reorganize because I can't see shit of what's going on. And are you guys done? All right, you just get a couple of shots here. Actually, go here. You stay over here. And yep, that's right. Just help that eagle. Oh my god, I'm killing my eagle. <laughs> All right, eagle, get away from there. Get away from there. Ah, oh my dear lord. Okay. Get a shot here, good, now go for Luthor, and you guys get over there, alright, the eagle didn't die, just leave it over here, we don't want it to, also these spearmen shall be left alone, and uh, yeah, you help out these champs, alright, just, I don't know, use that on them, you did an excellent job, alright, we have now won, it was a little bit tricky, not tricky, I just kind of failed a little bit hard with the bloated corpses <laughs> and the eagle. I should have just kept it back, like I didn't have to go uh, in the front in order to trigger it. And we can take the money. The replenishment is all fine. Uh, the thing is, do we go for the vampires here? Yeah, you see? Because we had uh, these things inside, the rebellion is actually quite strong. Composed of grave guards, black knights, crypt whores and so on. So we have to destroy them immediately before they grow any stronger. All right, uh, they have the higher ground, which is totally fine. Let's go like this. Actually, we can go and block your formation so they can strafe faster because I don't think they have anything now. All right, you shall go in the front. We shall keep these guys on the flanks because they're beaten up. And the sword masters so go here, Teclis go here, Noble go here, and Eagle. Actually, you're not gonna participate that much, are you? Alright, and um, Alright, let's just put it over here so we can force them to come immediately. Alright, and we're gonna get uh, what the hell? Here and here. 
Let's get Teclis in the front, so we can force them to come to us and start dropping some net. Yeah, that's right, shoot the, uh, the Graveguard. Is that an invocation being used? Might be. Alright, if they want to get shot... Alright, this is where the archers can shoot, so... Let's go a little bit closer. Alright, we need to take care of Black Knights and the Crypt Horrors. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll have to use it separately, so everybody just aim for the Black Knights. Are you kidding me? Is there a point on doing that now? Alright, whatever. They're, they're almost dead. We shall use it on these ones. Alright, cool. Use it. And go. Teclis, use your potion. Oh my god, you didn't use the net? Why are you doing this to me? It's alright, it's just crypt horrors. They shall die. Alright, uh, we need to deal with... Are they dead? Alright, cool. Go for the uh, these guys now. And you shall be needed against these ones. You fall back. Alright, cool. Teclis, get over here. Noble, go help out of there. And why did you... Alright, whatever. Let them go there. It's just zombies. Alright, let's get these artists to do what? Um, first of all, let's use the Infibian 4 here and that thing to damage the Ethereal units. And let's get these artists from here so they can have a good side shot. You just actually fall back. And you get over here. And you just reinforce the line. How's the sword masters doing? They're the only ones getting any decent kills. Alright, why did you stop? Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Didn't I tell you to move? What's what, what what's up with that? What's up with that? Noble, get away from there. You're getting beaten down. Hard. Alright, try to aim for this guy actually. And you keep running. Okay, he's retreating, so uh, we'll just drop a net on him. Come on, shit. So we can freely shoot him. Alright, everybody just aim for the guy. And just send these spears over here. In case he tries to come after us. The sword masters. It's taking them a lot of time. Alright, noble, stay back. Techless. Let's use this one. And then you're gonna use your portion of Teroy. Actually, use the Infibling 4 as well, and then use that, so these guys can go in and these ones pull out, and yeah, now with our general dead, it should be a lot, lot easier. Alright, fall back, both of you actually, just have the archers, alright, they're crabbling, alright, good. Oh my god, that was a huge fail with the nets in the beginning. Like a huge, huge fail. <laughs> it's alright. We still managed to do it without losing anybody. And that's what counts. Make sure you don't lose any units. Until you get the Awakening on level 3, you're not going to be able to run with any units. Because there's just not enough slots. In order to keep the public order stable. In order to just unlock everything that you want to unlock. Alright. Victorious. We shall go again for that. Although it's taking a huge toll on us. And now we can unlock the signs of Mathlan, which we will by merging these two. Excellent. And you shall go with even more replenishment. Techless, let's give you uh, a, barbed, a barbed Ithelmar. So you're a little bit agile, and let's get you back inside. All right, and the the, uh, the replenishment is quite good. In two turns time, we're gonna be up and ready to go. All right, and Luthor, he's gonna be dealt with. What can we run with? Yeah, we don't need any of that. Don't worry.
All right, so now a quest has been issued to amass a treasury of that amount to unlock the Sword of Teclis. Um, hmm. Does that mean we should actually wait from building up and even go straight for these guys? We could go from the sea. Poxmars seems to be empty. We can replenish from the sea, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go from uh, let's go from land. Let's like, screw it. How about the garrison here? You look at this. It's just level two without walls, and we have three sword masters of Hoth inside. Four archers, four Lothan Seagard, two Silverhelms, an eagle. Yeah, that's just, just crazy. All right, I'm gonna keep the money just to unlock the quest. So I can have the option of doing it so whenever I want to. And um, how many more level ups? Two level ups to get the uh, Hells of the Wind. Alright, let's keep going. So in the second episode we pretty much <coughs> are gonna capitalize on capturing uh, all of the uh, Vampire Coast region, province. Let's, let's call it that way. And probably on the third episode it's gonna be uh, going after uh, the Blessed Dread or Skrulk or whoever is down there. Is it actually in war with Tehenhauen? Why is Tehenhauen down here and Nitsa is up here? Like, oh shit, they are, they are in war. Faction destroyed. Cult of Shotek is destroyed. Now in your campaign it probably will not happen that way. It will probably be Shotek remaining alive. I don't know what the hell happened. Like, why did Ita do that? Damn, that's sick. That's a tragedy right there. Taken how he gets his ass whooped by Itza. I guess Gorok is mad because he didn't get his uh, FLC status. Hmm. I guess that's what happened. Gorok is uh, is on Itza, right? I think he is. See them cower before me. All right, raiding, and we shall again do the same thing. We'll just uh, dim, damn it. Seriously, I can only move that much. The gods guide me, making camp. All right, uh, next turn, whatever. Did we get the mission? All right. Oh shit, we have a rebellion here too as well, but it's a city one now, and uh, we can handle it. Alright, uh, you know what, we can go with this one and with that one. That's what we're gonna be wasting our money to. Screw it. We're gonna make enough money by capturing Poxmars, and actually... Like, everything screw it, just take the attrition. This thing is empty. <laughs> Now, I would sign the right, but is there a point? It's empty, and why do I need to spend like 2k in order to uh, be able to just walk without attrition? I'm soon about to uh, abolish it, like as soon as we get to level 3 we're gonna get a temple, which uh, offers plus 6 untainted. That's how much it provides with the uh, elven factions, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Alright, and another technology has been researched, so we'll just, um, uh, let's go for speed uh, for spearmen and archers, and you guys make the attack. attack. That should be an easy thing. Uh, it's actually best to fight it manually, because you never know, you might lose a unit and you 
we don't have a recruitment base just yet it all depends on that like just don't lose anybody or at least until you get uh, your regiments of renown because I had to disband one unit already alright let us gamble Now go back, the Sands of Mathlan should be in the middle, you guys go like this, Archers, I don't know, just go in a single line right now, because uh, it's not a strong force, so we don't have, you know, to be, uh, to be die hard about it. Alright, let's begin. Um, where's that bloated corpse? It's over on this side, is it only one? I think it's only one. Alright, go for the hand guns. Oh, and do that, please. Alright, the bloated corpse is coming this way, so uh, let's give them something. Let's give them techless. Let's give them techless. Alright, cool. So you two, this one, you two, that one. You two this, and you two, I don't care, like, go for this one. Alright, Techless. Oh my god, you're getting stuck between your own spearmen. Alright, you go back. We want these guys to get triggered by Techless. Oh, they're a ranged unit, they will never come. Okay. Uh, so you can go after this one. Alright, just make sure you keep them in place. Good, and you go explode that thing. Alright, Swordmasters, you can go into the front line, although it should be alright. Why did you stop shooting those? Why did you do that? Alright, shoot the guy. You shoot that one, and you shoot... No, keep shooting that, exactly. Totally forgot, sorry. Alright, Techless, um, run away. Spearman, get over here. And these guys are getting beaten down. These guys too. I guess the eagle can uh, dive in, in, dive in, in here and help out. Fail of a dive, but whatever. All right, let's go in the side over here. Although I don't think the fireball actually pierces through, or doesn't it? Or does it? Hmm. It kind of did. Alright, still alright, we won the battle. Fair and square and quite, quite easily. Alright. And all of the archers are silver severed. One and two. Which means we need to get that buff soon for, uh, for the late tier units. From uh, rank 7 and beyond. <coughs> rank 7 being uh, golden one severed. Alright, and um, there's already a rebellion happening, so we can just go again. And we have uh, completed the quest by capturing that settlement, so it's good. Uh, we can go for the wall immediately here. We can repair that, we have the money, like, screw it. Just get the growth here. Techless? Mm. Well... I'm gonna get that. I know I don't have the troops yet, but I just want to unlock this tree to get over here. Alright, so you stay over there, you're gonna be fully replenished in one turn. And down here we can get that to level 3, finally. Alright, and the commandment available. We're gonna go for the growth until we get this one. Okay, and yeah, that rebellion is probably gonna be easily dealt with by just the garrison. Sword Masters of Hoth, yo, and look at that, we're actually making 2 freaking K per turn. That's freaking amazing. The Vampire Coast is raiding us, where the hell are they? I can't even see on the map, 
where they are. They should be somewhere over, around here. Is that it? No, that's a freaking spider or a crab or something. Is that a spider? Okay, I really want to check this out as soon as the end turn mechanic uh, finishes. What is that thing over there? I'm pretty sure it looks like a spider. Damn that end turn. Damn. Imagine if the third game comes out, how much it's gonna be. I really think they should just try to tone it down, like customize the whole map for game 3, just skip a few factions, unnecessary ones, just, I don't know, do something, like, it's gonna be crazy with another third of the factions. Alright. And yeah, it's a spider. It's a spider. Alright, I don't see the vampire coast anywhere, like, where the hell are they? Oh, and we can upgrade this one now and this one. Alright, um, I will get that to level 3, because we're actually having a lot of growth at the moment. Uh, you can go with secure influence. And uh, now, you're gonna take... Oh, you can come from the sea, good. Just come over here. Alright. Alright, actually do I want the walls or just go for public order? I don't know why I'm, why I'm building the walls. Uh, just in case the vampire cost is somewhere over here, but then again I can just catch up with Teclis, so I'm just gonna go for the pu public order. Alright, and let's check again if anybody wants to trade. Leave Itza, because you know what? I will trade. Just Okay, they don't want to. Well, if I send a non-aggression pack they probably will. All right, Bordelov, finally. The Empire. Really? Bretonia, come on. Carcasson, come on, lady. There's a woman that knows what she wants. There's a woman. The Fane Chantress. All right, cool. And well, how much time we got? We got a few minutes. We'll just cross that rebellion over here. And from the next, uh, the next and final episode, as it seems, it's gonna be uh, how to deal with the south. And from there on, with three fully upgraded, uh, not fully, close to it, with three good provinces with uh, walls, it should be an easy peasy on uh, how to go. Like, you, you, you can see already that, for example, Ita is quite friendly to you, so that means they won't attack you. It's, there seems to be some kind of Skaven up here, like a secondary clan or something like that, which is not a problem. Because uh, just make sure you build garrisons everywhere. And uh, down here, is, it's Skrulk with Blessed Dread. I'm pretty sure they're in war at the moment. They always end up in war, because, you know, it's just somebody ha uh, of the two has to expand please don't attack me lock the uh, the construction please don't attack me please oh my dear lord just the city army attacking and locking the garrison we should have an option to immediately just freaking counter it or something free the captives all right, cool. And that is a lot of money. We are out of the blue. We are definitely out of the blue. Okay then, um, how do we perform from here on? How much for that? One more turn. So checklist, you... We shouldn't attack from the sea, we should attack... Okay, let's see who are they in war with, the Blessed Dread. Where are they? <coughs> Come on. Yep, they're in war with uh, both the Blessed Dread and Ita. That's good. That's really, really good for us. 
So if we attack the Blessed Dread over here, Skrulk is gonna kind of love us, which is gonna give us some time to build the proper army to attack him. Alright, alright I say. And now we're making even more money. Uh, that lighthouse over here, look at that, do you see? It's light going around. And I really miss the mod that actually changes the settlements on the culture belonging to them. Like, it should, you know, turn into a high elven city over here. I really liked it on Warhammer 1. I, I don't know why they abandoned it on uh, Warhammer 2. Seems kind of crazy. The best thing you can do is just at least change after five turns of you capturing it. So you give it, you know, some uh, reasoning of, you know, it doesn't change immediately, it takes some time. Come on. Alright, and uh, what is this? We shall go with happy populace again, chaos stairs, it's fine. We shall build this one for even more public order. Over here it's barely hanging, but if we build this one it should be alright. And now with the happy populace uh, thingy, it should be quite alright. Okay, you come from the sea and get over here. The Blessed Red, if they try to attack, they're gonna be up for a nasty surprise. We could go from there and just attack them at the sea. Uh, but... No. Alright, it doesn't matter if another garrison uh, rebellion happens here. Just these guys alone can beat it down. Either auto-resolve or manually. Like, uh, the Awakening, I think they just forgot about it, like, it has a great garrison, pretty much like other cities, uh, cities on the map, like, they have great garrisons and you don't have to build one. Uh, but uh, this one they forgot it, so you get a great garrison just by the main chain building, and you can also build on top of that. So, you get like a crazy ass here. Like a really, really strong one. <laughs> oh, faction encountered. Sentinels of Zeti. That always reminds me of the tweet icon. I don't know why. Oh, and nice, we have unlocked a new regiment. Alright, we'll go for that as well. Two more turns to upgrade this, to upgrade the province. Should be alright. And let's just keep going with that. I just need to get to the next tier, because my archers soon are gonna be beastly. Alright, we need to force march and just get to the next province so we avoid the, the attrition. Excellent. And what time is it? Okay, we can end the turn. We'll just uh, go for the walls here, upgrade that, and the port, and we're gonna be making some solid, solid money. Now, we're gonna go for the buff for the Great Eagles, or let's just upgrade the uh, four turn ones. Alright, is there a good garrison in here? It doesn't seem to be, just five units, the same on Chupa Yotl, and oh shit, Skrulk is actually beating the set out of them. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna need another army, but I can't recruit. I need to wait till I get this one over here. So let's end the turn and we're gonna say goodbye for this episode as well.
All right, boys and girls, uh, what should we go for here? Let's go with that. It gives us the most influence and we don't care about Kalidor. We are already not trading with them. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end this one here. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this one. It, as I said, it specialized on just... Uh, um, no, it was centered around on how to deal with this... Um, the Awakening Province, how to take it from the Vampire Coast. And uh, the third one is gonna be about dealing with a Blessed Dread or even Skrulk. We shall see about uh, about that. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. Feel free to subscribe if you're not and hit that notification button. And yeah, gonna be seeing you next time. Bye bye.